All right, guys, it has been a while since I gave you an official update on the status of that game engine, the game engine that I'm developing, the Untold engine. Uh, and in this video, I want to share with you basically all of the functionalities that are available now in the Untold engine. So without further ado, let's begin. So this whole year, uh, my main focus was to improve my game engine. And I worked on three main things. The first one was to add an editor uh, to my game engine using the Envoy library. Uh, now uh, you have uh, access to view all of the assets available to you as you are um, creating your, your game scene. Um, you can uh, drag the characters onto the scene, you can remove them, you can rotate them, you can translate them, you can save your scene, you can uh, retrieve that you know, the scene whenever you're ready to work on it again. The second improvement that I did was to add a scripting system into my game engine. Um, I ended up using uh, Gravity as my scripting uh, language. Um, and if you have never heard of Gravity, you may want to check it out. It is a very simple and easy to use uh, language. And most importantly, it is very simple to embed into your game engine. I tried using Lua, um, but honestly, when I was embedding it into my game, uh, into my game engine, I felt it was a little bit cumbersome, and so I decided to use Gravity instead, and I'm very happy with the result. Now that I have an editor and a scripting system, naturally the whole uh, workflow of my game engine has changed. Before you would have to uh, create your scene in Blender and then export the scene uh, into my game engine and then uh, write some C++ code to load the characters so that, you know, so that the scene would show up. Um, now, that has changed because all what you have to do now is simply create your characters in Blender, export them into my game engine, fire up my game engine, um, and then all of the characters, all of the assets that you have created in Blender will be available to you. Uh, and you basically can now create your whole scene um, uh, you know, using the game engine. And after that, you can script the behaviors of the characters uh, using the scripting system. Um, that is now available. So those are the major uh, improvements that I did to my game engine. Um, an editor, a scripting system, and the whole workflow um, has completely been improved. Now, because of that, I need to write some documentation and uh, hopefully that should take me about three to four weeks to write. And once that is ready, I will, you know, share, share that with you so you, you can start using the game engine. Honestly, the game engine is ready to use. All what I need to do is write documentation so that way you know how to work with it. Um, but aside from that, I'm very happy with the results. I know it took a, almost a year to, you know, from one release to the other. But um, this whole year was basically a year of a lot of um, learning and experimenting. Uh, believe it or not, I um, implemented the scripting system twice. Uh, the first time it didn't work out as I expected it, but the second one it kind of worked better. Um, so um, I also fixed a ton of bugs that you know were present in the game engine. Aside from that, guys. Um, Everything is looking good with my game engine. I'm very happy with it. And again, I will uh, release the game engine uh, version 1.0 very soon. Uh, thank you guys for watching this video. I hope you liked it. If you did, please click the like button, share it with your friends, join my Discord server, and I'll see you guys next time.